Hi everyone, today we are making breakfast healthy porridge. This is what it looks like. I realise it doesn't look very appetising or tasty, but when you see what goes in it, you'll realise how good it is for you and the actual stuff that I've just whacked in here does actually taste really nice. So if you want to know how I made this and you want to try and have a go of it yourself, keep watching this video. The first thing I've done is I have measured my milk out and I've got 200 millilitres of milk and I either use the unsweetened soya milk or the Alpro soya almond milk. So once you've measured that out into the pan it goes. And then I use the Neil Yard's gluten free porridge oats and they're just normal porridge oats that they're gluten free. And I measure one and a half ounces of them and I can't think what the gram equivalent is so I'll leave that in the description below. And then that goes into the pan as well. And then once it's in the pan, turn on the heat to the lowest possible flame and then just get all the oats covered in the milk. And then I pretty much just let it do its job. And you know, it depends how you like it yourself. Some people like it really thick, like you could stand your spoon up in it. And some people like it so thin and watery. I kind of like it in between when I can still see a little bit of the milk um, that's like loose. But the majority of it has been soaked up. So I'm going to keep mixing it and watching it until it gets to that stage. Now while my porridge is simmering away on the hob here i'm going to add a few bits to my bowl so in here i've got some linseeds and raisins which are great for you and i love on my porridge it just matches really well and then i'm going to put on some cinnamon which is another really good thing for you it stabilizes your blood sugar and things like that so I'll put a bit of that in my bowl and then I'm going to pop this on, which is from Lidl, and it's milled linseed with sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, goji berries, and chia seeds. And it's just a nice mix of them all. And it's something that goes really well with porridge because it's like the same sort of texture. So I sprinkle a bit of that on. You can see what it looks like. It's quite bright and colourful, actually. So now I'll just let this porridge keep simmering away and keep giving it the odd stir when it looks like it's bubbling up a bit. One thing you will have to be careful about is it just turns so quickly like mine now has got to the stage that I like it. It's still a bit watery but it's thick enough for me. So I'm going to shove it all into my bowl now. It gets quite hard to get out of the, the pan actually even though it's like a non-stick pan. One good top tip for this is, once you've got it out of your pan, whack the pan under some cold water straight away and it'll make your life so much easier when it comes to washing up. So now that's in, I'm going to mix it all together to get them seeds, raisins, the taste of the cinnamon and the ground linseed all mixed up together. Just like that. And then my favourite thing to finish it off is this, the Groovy Foods Premium Agave Nectar. And, oh God, I just love it. I picked mine up from Holland and Barrett. And I just drizzle some of that on. And then give it another mix round. And it looks probably not appetising, but I love the taste of all this. Now I realise this really does not look appetising and you could present it. I think a few videos ago when I did low FODMAP snacks or breakfast or something like that. Um, I'll link that video below if I can find it. Um, I made my porridge look very presentable and very nice then. But at the end of the day we eat breakfast to feed us and set us up for the day and make us not feel hungry anymore. And porridge is a great way to do that because it keeps, it releases energy slowly so you're not going to go peak, drop, peak, drop and things like that if you have a really sugary cereal. And it's got, it's full and bursting with goodness with everything that we've added which is what's contributing to make it look like this. But nevertheless, I love it and I'm going to sit there and eat it now. Thumbs this video up if you enjoyed it or you always have porridge. 
And if you can think of any other ways I could make my porridge or add different things to it or things like that, please let me know in the comments and I will love to read them. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.